If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell icon to get the latest updates. Welcome to Zarin Tech on setting up payroll accounting in Workday. In this video, I'll be walking you through the key steps and considerations when configuring payroll accounting. Let's start with a quick disclaimer. This video is for informational purposes only. Please ensure you comply with all copyright laws and do not reproduce or transmit this content without permission. In this video we'll cover Payroll accounting setup steps Suspense accounts Reviewing accounting results Identifying and fixing journals with errors Rerunning payroll accounting Cost accounting Currency conversion First, let's look at the setup steps for payroll accounting. This involves Defining payroll accounting business processes Setting up payroll balance accounts Configuring accounting templates Setting up accounting splits Defining cost accounting mappings It's key to walk through each of these setup steps methodically to ensure payroll accounting is configured correctly. Please refer to the details in the presentation handout for guidance on each step. An important concept in payroll accounting is suspense accounts. Suspense accounts are temporary accounts used to record ambiguous transactions until they can be permanently classified. Once payroll processing is complete, you should review the accounting results and correct any errors before finalizing payroll. This allows you to regenerate accounting entries without having to recalculate payroll. To identify and fix journals with errors. Access the fixed journals with errors task identify errors and correct the underlying data regenerate accounting results for specific journals or all journals with errors. To rerun payroll accounting. Access the Run Payroll Accounting task Select the pay period and pay groups to process Choose to process off-cycle, on-cycle, or both schedule accounting reruns if needed. For cost accounting, you need to define cost centers and cost accounting mappings. This allows payroll expenses to be allocated to different cost centers. If you operate in multiple currencies, Workday can handle currency conversion for payroll accounting. This ensures payroll expenses are recorded in the appropriate currencies. Thank you for your time. Please subscribe our channel to get more information on setup payroll accounting. Thank you for attending the session. I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Also feel free to ask your questions in the comment section below and we will reply to them at the earliest.